All right, guys, welcome back. If you just joined us, like I told you, I have a very special guest, uh, and we're going to be talking about her music, her story, and other things related. Her name is uh, Joy Easy. Of course, um, she is a Nigerian singer and songwriter. Uh, she was born in the 80s, of course, in Worry Delta. Uh, and, uh, well, she has an amazing story that I would like for her to tell by herself. But outside the fact that she's a brilliant musician, uh, you just saw her video. Um, she's here with us this morning. Good morning, Joy. Good to have you in the studio. Good morning. Here. Thank you for having me here. And glad you could make it. I, I heard that Lagos traffic was so bad. It was. It she was. Kept you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Well, good to have you in the studio. Thank so you so before much. we even get into your story, I know that we just saw your video and we just, you know, heard the music. Let's talk about that for a minute. Um, tell us a little about that. About the music. Um, the inspiration came up from... Um, I've been singing from... That's when I was seven. Yeah. I've been singing with the music with my, my mom and my brothers. And uh, before the incident came up, and I was told I wasn't going to use my voice anymore to sing. You know, so this was, it was a challenge for me. I, I, f I felt um, that all hope is gone, that I've lost my passion of me doing what I was born to do as a gospel singer. And, um, I, uh, when I was going through depression, about to take, take my life because I felt, what else am I living for? If what I was born for, to do as a musical um, person, I would not be able to do it. And looking at my, myself, that, um, seeing the, the deformity that you're not looking the way you were looking before, and to crown it all, they're telling you you can no longer use your voice. Mm. It, was, it was hell for me. It was hell until I got the inspiration by the Holy Spirit telling me, you can do it. I dwell in you. I live in you. All things are possible with him that I can do it. He said, just keep trying. It wasn't easy. Yeah. At first, it wasn't even coming out clear. I couldn't even hear myself while I was doing the song and all that. But here I was today, giving all thanks to God, and it came out the way it did. And the song is called The Air I Breathe. Yes. Okay, so I want to take it back a little and talk about your story. So in 2020, um, you were shot by an angry police ex-fiancé. And, you know, this... I don't even know how to get the words out. Because of constant abuse and other things. Can you share with us the story? Okay, um, in 2020, we've been dating for the past um, two years and... Um, he has gone as far to do the first introduction. Okay. He has gone to collect the marriage list. I was supposed to get married in 2020, December. So all of a sudden, there was an issue on that fateful day. No issue. He just said, um, he's no longer interested. I was curious to know what was the issue. I said, what was the problem? What have I done? Was there any issue? I would love you to tell me. If I've done anything wrong, I'm ready to apologize. He said, he's just no longer interested. That everybody should go their own separate ways. And that day, I left. It wasn't easy though. I called after some hours, like, babe, what happened? Just tell me. He said nothing, that he's no longer interested. Then I left. Three days after he told me to leave, he called that he wants to see me. My innocent me, I thought maybe he wants to tell me the prank. Maybe he's just trying to pull my leg. He wants to know. If truly I love him. So we went to, so we should meet at um, Okmebi Allen at Salvation Bus Stop. When we got there, we, to, we sat on, on the place, we took a drink, and it was on, on his uniform, he was on duty on that day. He's a police officer. He's a police officer. So it was on duty on that day, and um, he said um, the reason why he called for this meeting, that he doesn't want me to tell people that he said he's no longer interested. Okay. I said, so what do you want me to tell them? He said anything. I said, the two people I wanted to tell by yourself, call my dad and my pastor. Tell them anything. Give them any false information about me. You can tell them maybe I was cheating on you. You just say something about me that is not right. He said no. And I thought that was all. I said, okay, no problem. Since you said no, I want to take my leave. I'm just like three steps ahead of him. I had been cock. The rifle he was holding. So I was curious what was happening behind me. For him to have cocked the gun, so he's ready to release fire. So I turned. The moment I turned, that was when the bullets went in here and came out. That was all. 
that was all. After some time, I, I don't know the minutes, I don't know the hours. I know I got conscious and trying to get myself balanced. I held on to somebody. That man was the person God sent to me. It's an awesome man. I held on to him and I was begging for help. My jaw fell off. My tongue was cut off into two. I said everything was just, it was just so, is, is a mess. I held on to him and, you know, trying to stop very close. They can take us to the hospital. They first of all took me to one nearer hospital closer by. That one said, no, this is beyond what you can handle. That we should go to general hospital. So that was how I was rushed down to general hospital, Ikeja. And, you know, they're like, do you know who did this to you? I couldn't talk because my tongue was out. This place was open. You can literally see hair from inside, everything. Can you, can you, can you, say, can you tell us the person who did this to you? Can you open your phone? I quickly swipe my phone and open. While I was in that spot, the only thing I was telling God, I said, God, remember my service in your house. I have served you. And that altar, I have ministered to men and women, and they've given testimony how this ministration blesses their life. I do not want to die now. I don't want to lose my mind. I want to have my mind intact. I want to remember everything. I was praying inside my mind. I said, God, please help me. And prayer answered. That was what happened. God helped me. I want to go to the hospital. The my elder sister, they were able to reach her, so they called and the first person my elder sister called was him. Like, Eze, where are you? Are you aware that the shot joy? The person he returned back was, where is joy? My sister said she's in general hospital. That was how he turned off his phone and ran away, you know. Has so he the, been apprehended now? Yes, he has. With the help of the 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 beautiful nigerians out there the nigerians really turned up for me they are so amazing people they were amazing as in they went as far as donating a lot for surgeries to carry out because if only for them and god i don't think i'll be alive because i cannot afford it i can't afford it wow i can't so it's it was, a very touching story yes it is so it was um it was it's something that I, I, I look at my previous um, photos, how I look and what I look now is it just can't be God. Because how can you explain somebody that the shot is a close range, the shot and the person is alive, one. The doctor told the person you cannot use a voice because it caused it was a damage. I was I don't know how to put the English, I don't know how to explain that um, um, medical aspect. My, my throat was slitted, the, the, I finally cut it and inside there was a pipe that they insert in for me to lie down. I couldn't lie down. I couldn't raise my head back. I couldn't. Well, I wish we had more time. Mm. Um, and definitely, we're definitely going to have you back in the studio to talk some more about this and also talk about the music. But really quickly, the music is out there now. Yes, it is. It's called The Air I Breathe. Yes. OK, so it does this music, is it from an album, a project? And also, how can the good people out there watching TV now, how can we find it? OK, it's on um, all social media platforms. I have a YouTube channel. OK. Um, the name of my YouTube um, channel is um, Joy AZ 2024. Joy AZ 2024. Yeah, so the video is out there. So in every um, musical platform is there, you know, so you can go there and... Um, mm. And, um, of course, I know the video is out. Are there more projects to come out for 2024? Yes, a lot. There's more. There's more. I just want to push this for This was my first um, album I'm doing ever since the incident happened. And yes. I want to see how it's going to look like. And so amazing. It came out where, and um, I believe it's a music that was going to bless people. Because the, the lyrics is not just ordinary lyrics. It's the lyrics from God. It's a, it's a testimony, you know. When you have God as the air you breathe, nothing goes wrong. You know, nothing goes wrong. And um, when men think it is over and God tells you, I'm just starting with you. Hmm. Mm. 
All right, fantastic. Um, and I was just getting word from my producer now asking me to ask about the details of some of the, this person that did this. You know, so what exactly is the situation now? You said he's been apprehended. Um, yes, um, like I was told, they've sentenced him to life imprisonment, you know. So I, I, I was not able to go for the court hearing on that. I had, an, I had a surgery because I'm carrying out a lot of surgeries back to back, right. back to back. So I had the surgery on that, so I couldn't appear in court. The day was sentenced. So I have not confirmed it. I, I can't go there. But he has been sentenced according yes, to the law. Yes, that's, that's what I was told, that he has been sentenced to life in prison. Mm. So. Wow. Thank you so much, Joy. And um, mm -hmm. I'm glad that you, you, your music is out there. And from here at Silverbird, we're always going to support your music and always show you love here. Thank you so much. And thank you for stopping by.